ladies and gents, we're on to game number 61. This is Soul Echo. Soul Echoes. Echoes? It's Soul Echoes. Fuck you. New game.
Oh, okay, we are back to another game that, that dumps me into a fucking village from the get-go. Stop doing this, please! Yay, have to padding! Padding is wonderful, do you hear me? No, I, it is not. I am actually not being serious. Please, don't believe me. <sighs> Cemetery to the east? Yes, I hear you. Where's the east? That way. To the east we go. Oi! The fuck! Come on, let me go! <laughs> Onwards! Fuck down, I don't care. Oh my god. Ugh. Ah, um, excuse me? Okay. Um, so... Oh, um, I already forgot what the fuck is it everyone uses. Eh, fuck it, just find something, we will figure it out later. Wait, it's to the east, okay. Onward to the east we go. The cemetery? Why would a cemetery have so many houses? No shit, Sherlock! Oh my god, what now? Fuck you, I will just find out for myself. That other thing is nothing, that's what they are. Oh my god, more tutorials. Don't give a shit, I will find out eventually. Um. Okay, so apparently none of them are weak to actual holy, so fuck that. Who <sighs> cares, just hit the first one. Okay, usually th this is very ambiguous naming sense. Basically, this is a multi hit and this is a singlet. And enemies, fine, but your enemies is a bit ambiguous because it doesn't actually say what enemies. Is it just one? Is it all? Is it random? It's um, overall, it's better to be as descriptive as you can with your, your skills. You say all enemies because otherwise you're going to confuse people. So, some poor derp is going to try that and it's going to be like, no! This. Defense. Yeah, why not? Oh. Okay. Yeah, just keep doing the same thing. Why the fuck not? Who's going to stop you? Fuck, don't freeze my gram! Don't freeze my fucking... I think he died! The first encounter in the fucking game! There's three of these motherfuckers! Fuck the fuck off, give me a break! Break. I 
actually have anything? Eh, fuck it, just attack him. I have no idea what that was. Um, just fucking attack him, who fucking cares? And. Per f oh. I don't know what to give you, actually. Let's just try electric. Let's see what happens if I do that. Nope, nothing happens. Well, I've forgotten what um <laughs> what he was weak against. Oh, uh, was it flame? I don't fucking know. I just attack him. Oh nope, wasn't that one? It dies makes no sense, but yep, it was ice. Even though that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. It is stronger in fucking electric. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Ah, uh, oh, wait, it's ice, not to uh, die. There we go. Oh my god, we're already breaking the fourth wall. Actually, they took too fucking long for what they were. What great entity? Oh my god, they don't remember. Oh, fuck. Shit. Uh. Uh. Oh fuck. Oh, that was an accident. Oh my god, what is this? Um I really don't like I did it before they're using a script that does it so that when you press you press shift you skip through text, which is all fine. The problem is that shift is also the run key, so what you want to do is put them in different keys so you don't actually accidentally um I'm just going to smite fuck it oi. You ward yourself, who cares? Holy! Ow! Ow! Holy shit thing! <laughs> what? They're not even weak to it, are you fucking with me? Oh. Then you ward yourself again, you're about to die! Ah, oh, you fucking with me! I don't fucking know. Uh. Mm. I really don't know. No wait, I will do messer with that bitch. I just do stuff, just, I oh, know, wait. They're using fire, aren't they? Hail winds, yeah, do that. I must heal, there we go. Fuck you, ow. Ow. What with you is the fucking second combat in the game and my healer is getting raped. Just do that again. Try fire, why not? Oh, they're actually weak to f what the fuck the elemental weaknesses in this game make no fucking sense. What are they weak to fire? But not to holy. That makes no sense. Fuck you. <sighs> Wait. Holy things. Ow. Ow. Fuck you. Inferno, yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, no. Oh, my God, Halsey. 
still not saving our game. Who cares? Oh, you can't be serious. Really? <sighs> to fucking kill them all over again, you can't be serious. Oh, die! Oh, die already. I don't fucking give a shit. Just die. Fucking die already. Oh, fuck yourself. There we go. Oh, you can't be serious. Not happy at all. Keep doing that. Fuck you, game. I'm done. Um. Right, uh, this game, what can I say about this game? So what can I say about this game? Um, doesn't really have a plot, which I don't exactly like. Um, presentation is okay, I definitely don't want, don't like some of the sprites. They don't match their faces at all, the faces are very nice. Um, Mapping, while not structurally terrible, it definitely has no level of detail at all, which it definitely needs. If it's supposed for the presentation, the mapping is um, the exact bare bones. That's like a placeholder map rather than actual map. So yeah, mapping needs to work. Um, so, so dialogue is non-existent. It, it doesn't really do anything. There's no plot, no or no characterization. There's characters and you're fighting evil. That's it. Um, uh, I didn't know. I'm going to say if if the game is a boss rush, which I'm going to assume it is. I can't be sure, but I'm going to assume it is a boss rush with um with a, or all the fights are evented. There is no there is no there is no reason not to have you automatically restore yourself after every fight, because what do you want me to go back to the inn every time? That makes no sense. There's no random encounters. It, maybe there is. Maybe they are later on and I didn't see them, but. If there are no random encounters, it makes no sense for you not to restore. Because what's the option? Just howl us back to the inn? That's fucking boring. Um, there is def there is definitely too much stuff from the get-go. Um, I'm not sure if this game is very short or what, but there are many characters. Each character starts with many skills, and there is a layer of equipment on top. Don't think me wrong, it's good that there's depth in the, con in the combat, but you can't just pile it all up from the get-go and expect the players to follow through. There's, there are so many skills on each character that I was overwhelmed, and I just picked it up what felt the most easy. I didn't even notice that barrier had a thing. It's it, you. you uh, um, the thing is that as a developer, you can't expect a player to enter a game and suddenly read through a mountain of description for equipment, for skills, for characters. It's too much. You want to spread it out. 
so that um, you learn things gradually. Uh, anyway, um, the game wasn't bad. I'm not a fan of plotless games. I will just say that right off the door. This game doesn't really have a plot or a characterization, which isn't um, this isn't really my thing. Um, the the gameplay seemed to be fine, a bit on the hard side, especially with those balance issues, and so much thrown at you from the get go. The elements make no fucking sense. Some that is weak to ice. How the fuck does that work? It has no logic whatsoever. Um. Um. Other than that. Ah uh, yeah, but the the dead things that cheap constant um I will say um that continued fight would have been fine if it was just those two fights, but it isn't. There's a fight before and and you didn't go to the inn before because who would have? Overall, it's unfair. Not so much in the difficulty, but in the way you spread resources. You haven't given me a ch I have no items. Uh, you haven't given me a chance to heal up or to prepare for the fight. Um, it, it's it's not well designed from the sense of um, it's not player friendly at all. Not in a difficulty sense, but in a cheap I don't know what I'm doing yet sense. It was the second or third fight in the game, and you're already throwing me against walls, and I'm like, whoa, holy shit! Wait, wait, wait! I'm not ready for this. Um, what else? I've said it many times during these reviews. Um, if you can help it at all, don't throw your player to start with in a in an open town. Never do that, because they will get lost or they will leave at once. Because um, towns are for when for if if a town is has some exploration instead of being just an event. Exploration is what's compelling when you're already engaged in the game. At the start of the game, what you want to do is give the player very clear goals so that they don't get lost. And engage them. Uh, usually, the best way to do this is through good sense and actual dungeons, more or less linear dungeons, so they don't get lost yet. To boil, build up, and learn the game as they go. But throwing your player directly in a town means that they're going to get lost, looking for things. Their tension and engagement with the game will dissipate rather than increase. Don't are fine after you've played the game a bit and you've learned how it goes and if you like it. But yeah, um, throwing you in a town. If you notice, most games, most commercial games, don't do that, and they do it well. Like if you remember, most of the Final Fantasies never throw you in a town right away, or if they do, they are either small or very restricted. Like they, they clearly tell you, no, 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 you, you can't go here. You must go there. And there's usually some small dungeon tidbit before that, so yeah, you know. Um. Anyway, that was Soul Echoes and moving on to the next games. See you guys there.